Welcome back everybody. My name is Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking and we're going to make a really quick video here to cover the control group. This is another thing that I just recently found out about and I've been using so much since I found out about it. So a couple of videos back, I covered a component called the menu. And the menu is a really nice user experience. You click it open, it's very seamless, it looks very iOS, and you can put in like buttons or something in a little pop-up menu. In this video, we're gonna look at the control group, which is very similar to the menu, except it allows us to customize a couple extra different layouts for the buttons. In this video, we're also gonna combine it with the menu, and we're gonna look at a couple different implementations going down that route. And what I wanna stress here is this type of user interface, so like these pop-up menus, I think are gonna become more and more popular, especially as the Apple ecosystem starts to grow. So when we're talking about Mac OS, Vision OS, TV OS, having these native menus that can just like pop up and having it out of the box in system components is really gonna help us in the long run. So I'm gonna be implementing more of these in my app and I think you guys should too. Without further ado, let's jump into Xcode and write some code. back everybody again here in the swift ui boot camp gonna make this one really quick because again the code is really easy but i am loving this ui that i'm about to show you guys wanted to share it with you let's right click the navigator create a new file a swift ui view let's call this one control group menu boot camp click create jump inside let's get the simulator going here and and this one's gonna be super simple Let's get started with the simple UI here. We're just going to add in a menu and let's just call this maybe my menu. Click enter. Looks like a button, right? But inside the menu, let's add some buttons. So maybe the first one's just going to say, maybe let's just do one and we'll do a button here that says two and three. All right. If I click open the menu, we have one, two, three. Let's remember these menus are dynamic so that whether they're gonna pop up above the button or below the button, that's just the system is putting these upside down right now. When we're building these, we generally should not rely on one specific layout. It could be three, two, one, it could be one, two, three. The menu is gonna ad adapt for the device. But what we're looking at here is right now these buttons in these rows, but what if I wanna put maybe three buttons to the left and to the right of each other? Well, let's gr get rid of number one and instead add a control group. Control group with a title. Let's put the title here as one, and then we'll click enter. And then inside the control group, let's add in some buttons and we'll say uno and dos and trace. All right, so now when I click this open, I get this control group instead of just a regular row. The title is one and I got three more buttons, uno, dos, trace. If I take out the title of the control group, I can also just get the three buttons here without that title row. And then the coolest thing about these is that I can use menus within these menus. So for example, right now, if I look at number three, it's just this row, but I could actually make it a menu itself. Let's make it a menu here and we'll do three. And inside that menu is gonna be three more buttons. So let's do a button here that says maybe hi, hello, how are you? All right. So three now has a drop down menu inside the button is three more buttons, which is really cool. And you can continue to nest these, right? So I can put another menu inside this menu. Let's change the title here. How are you? Good, bad. So a drop down a menu inside a menu, inside a menu. Good. We can even make these menus children of the control group. So here, if I got rid of the trace button, we can do a menu. How are you? Click that pops into a menu and that's awesome. And these are also reversible menus, right? So you can always revert back. I can go forward and I go backwards. So this UI, I think is going to become more and more important as we build iOS apps. These pop-up menus are great for basically settings or buttons that users might not click every time they open the app. So if it's going to be something that you're just going to click all the time, then you probably want to keep that as a full button somewhere on your screen, right? Maybe in the navigation bar. But if there's like a list of settings 
Like if you're using Twitter and you press the ellipses and there's a bunch of settings that you have a choice of, you could show an alert, you could show a confirmation dialog, but a better UI might be something like this, where we can add in layers to this menu. I think this is incredibly underrated. Uh, devs are going to start using this more and more as we move towards the future. I don't think a lot of people are using it yet because people just don't know about it. But this UI is so seamless, so easy to build that I think it would be a mistake to not think about this as you start building iOS apps. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that this was there. You can use a control group, you can use a menu, and you can use them in combination as well. Thank you guys for watching. As always, my name is Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.